In the video today, I'm going to be showing you how to use the flatness and roundness script that is provided in Moldflow Insight. These macros allow you to repeat user interface actions to automate common or repetitive tasks. This uses Visual Basic Script as a recording and playback language. By default, the recorded macros are saved in the following location. Select the Tools tab at the top of the ribbon interface and record your screen. The software will keep track of the picks and clicks and turn this into a script. There are really three ways to create a macro. Use or modify existing scripts, use code from other scripts, or create your own scripts. Now let's jump into the software. That was just a brief introduction to scripts. If you need any help, please go to the help files that are located in this question mark in Moldflow Insight. Now let's hop into the part we're going to work on. Here we can see this filter housing. The scripts that I want to use today are the flatness and roundness. You'll want to click on your nodes, and here you can see that I already have a fill, pack, warp, and cool analysis ran. I'm going to click on all the nodes on the perimeter of the part. This could be tedious, but I already have this nice tool in Moldflow Insight. If you only click on one node along the perimeter of the part, you can click nodes on same edge. This will automatically select every node along that surface. Now we can go ahead and play the macro. Here I have these scripts save, saved in a specific folder, but if you go to your C drive and go to Program Files, select Autodesk, go into your Moldflow Synergy 2000 and whatever year you have your software up to date, go to Commands, you can see all of the scripts that the software offers whenever you download Moldflow Insight. Today we're going to be using the roundness. Here this gives you a nice measurement because it shows you how much your part is warped and shows the total out of roundness. This is very useful if, you're ha if you have other parts that are attaching to this unit or if you're just looking to see how out of round the part is. Next we can go ahead and look at the flatness. I'm going to select a node on the bottom of this part and go to the mesh and use the node tool, nodes on same surface. This will automatically highlight all the nodes that are on the bottom of the part and allow us to use a script that will measure the flatness of the part. Here we can play macro, go down and select the flatness.vbs script and you can see all the scripts that the Moldflow Insight download offers. This does a quick measurement, and you can see exactly where the part is deflecting and how flat the part is going to be before and after warp. Here we're seeing 0.5 millimeters on this filter unit. This is a nice tool to be able to use scripts that automatically do things that would normally be tedious or time consuming.